Hey, I just want to apologize. I went and edited this video and I didn't realize how choppy her internet connection was because screen record, I can't hear it as well, but I just wanted to apologize in advance when I was editing. I was like, oof, this is rough. <laughs> so anyways, um, but try to enjoy the video regardless. And thanks for watching my videos. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and, and joining my, my little community. And uh, yeah, so everyone enjoy the show. Thank you. Hey everyone, I thought I would come in since I had such positive feedback on my last video where I just did screen record, reaction to FB. I literally cannot just straight watch her. I have to watch her through another reaction channel or on a live stream, but I cannot watch her by myself, so I don't last long. So I thought I just picked a random moment when she came back from the drugstore. Yes, she has COVID and she is out in public. It's disgusting. I have opinions on this, but let's uh, see what she bought at the drugstore, shall we? <coughs> hey. Oh, right, yeah, so hack it up. So, what is this? Oh, that seems like something essential. Yeah. It's a cute bag. I can't have enough bags. Yeah, that's definitely an essential bags. item that you needed. That that couldn't wait. Lambo! Lambo! I forgot the fucking microban. All right. I have some anti-allergy gel that I'll use right. I did use some at the counter before I checked out. And then again after. Oh, oh you used hand sanitizer on. before? Oh, um, well, then thank God. You were such a saint. Just... I didn't break quarantine. I did my quarantine. I did my time. Fuck. No, no. It's supposed to you don't get to decide when your quarantine's up. COVID decides when quarantine is up. You going out like this is incredibly irresponsible. You could be spreading it to someone who could get sick and die. Just because you're doing fine doesn't mean the rest of the world is doing fine. You cannot just go out and about like this and think it's fine. It's so selfish. I, it, it's one of the reasons a lot of places are short staffed is because people get COVID and they can't come to work. It's just, oh, oh my God. Okay, let me see how much longer I last. Everyone, let's take out money on how much longer you think I'm going to last. Well, you know the answer, not me. <laughs> Five, I did six days, okay? Oh, wow, I'm six days. Extra. Wow, my God. I don't think it's been that long. Has it? I wouldn't recommend brushing your teeth with that bag. <laughs> you freaking beast bomb. Put this here. Did you buy a toothbrush? Always no, a mask. Go, oh, man. Quarantine time. Actually, they're still giving out free tests. If you're in Ottawa, this is Rexall. I don't know, like, they're giving them out at pretty much, like, grocery stores. This is a life pack. It's actually really good to have. Like, I have two more tests left, but... I did some toothbrushes! Yay! Charcoal toothbrushes. I like the way they feel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Charcoal toothbrushes. Hmm. You know, you could just buy a regular toothbrush. You know, that would work, too. Um. Okay. I just want to say something as... Someone who has, you know, I know maybe you don't see it. It's not like I'm going to show you like super close-ups of my, you know, my teeth. <laughs> I don't think that's your thing. But people with like drug addictions have serious problems with their teeth. Like most people have to go to the dentist every six months. I have to go every three months because my gums are so receded from uh, the Coca-Cola I consumed it just ate away my gums. So I have to have a dentist look at my, my teeth every three months to make sure everything's okay. And I actually have to go in and get gum surgery. So otherwise I will just end up losing my teeth in the back. So <laughs> I'm getting ready for that. That's gonna cost me a lot of money and it's just something I have to do. And it's just, it's the price you have to pay, but you have to take care of your teeth. Now, 
she hasn't been doing it that long, so she can prevent a lot of this stuff by just doing basic dental hygiene, like brushing and flossing. And even that, still, um, with the drugs, it's not going to save everything, but she needs to take care of her teeth if she's going <laughs> to do drugs. Like, if you're going to tweak out, can you tweak out on your teeth? That would be great. That's that's. Thanks for stopping by my TED Talk, though, everyone. Okay, thanks. <laughs> more than the plastic bristles. I got some pro enamel toothpaste. I got some what is this? Dry mouth spray. Oh, dry mouth? <laughs> Contains natural Yerba Santa. <laughs> she doesn't even know what she bought. Foodie Beauty, do you have dry mouth? It says that on the box. So do you have a problem with dry mouth? I would imagine you would with all the weed you smoke. <laughs> you must have terrible dry mouth. That's another thing I want to address. If you're not brushing your teeth and you're doing something like um, THC, which um, I guess, I don't know if edibles will dry out your mouth. I have no idea. Um, I'm far from an expert on edibles, but I know when you smoke it, it gives you horrible dry mouth. And if you're not brushing your teeth, it's just leading, you know, giving you more, more fun problems down the road. And I know you don't go to a dentist. So, ew. but I mean, I guess I'm glad you bought it. But it's, it's funny that you don't even know what you have. Like, do you not pay attention to the sh Do you just buy shit just to buy? I don't understand. Alcohol free for, for dry milk. Okay, so it's for dry mouth. I thought it was like a spray mouthwash. What? Sorry. What? I've never heard of... Okay, raise your hand if you've heard of a spray mouthwash. I just want to know because I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I also got this. Harissa Hot Face and Lip Wax. Anyone try this brand? I don't know. I can't stand the smell of Nair. I can't. Well, I thought Friday too, but technically, like, I really need cat food. So I'm like, okay, when did I start getting sick? It was Thursday. I was sick. So then they say to start the day after your quarantine. So Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Five days is all I'm supposed to do. Hi, Gemini! Bad connection because it's the friggin' VIX. <clears throat> It just goes back to she makes her own rules. Like, she's, I don't know. I, shit. I don't think she should be out in public. I don't think she's fit to be out in public even when she's not sick. But that's that's neither here nor there. Um, and she's getting Vix and complaining about how she can't taste anything. She can't smell anything. I mean, it just seems like, I don't know, maybe go to a, maybe talk to a professional. I know a lot of healthcare providers don't want you to come in when you have COVID. It's just the fact of it all like they don't want you spreading it more than necessary and if you go if you have like mild covid symptoms like the last thing you need to be doing is going to the hospital wasting precious man hours at the hospital but i mean maybe like at least call your doctor and get actual concrete advice and then like we can't dispute it because you'd be like well i spoke to my doctor and this is what my doctor said then we can't dispute it right but she doesn't do that. Like, she just half half looks up something, kind of, you know, browses over it real fast. And it's like, okay, cool. We're good. I did my research. Oh, Lord. I also got some... I got some toothpaste, some pro enamel toothpaste. I thought you said you bought toothpaste. Please. Yeah. I got cool. some Tylenol daytime, which I'll take now. You know, Tylenol's fine. They're so cute. Whenever oh, I see yeah, a those cute are essential. purse, definitely. Lip gloss. Definitely. Okay, essential. let me just move out of the way. Move to a different location, see if it's better connection. Hold on. Okay, I don't think I can handle much more of this because this is like I'm just sitting there thinking her is hanging out in the cosmetic aisle with her COVID dripping fingers, like browsing everything and and touching everything and taking her mask down because you know she she's a nose breather she's like 
I just, I can see her just walking through the store with the mask hanging off her nose. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> oh, I'm just so exhausted. And it's people like her. And she's doing this on a platform. And I just feel like this is incredibly irresponsible. And this isn't something you should be putting out. You should not be putting out misinformation like this. Like, this is just... You're a public figure, foodie beauty. You need to be more responsible and make better choices. You don't make good choices. And you have a platform and you're you're giving, whether you want to admit it or not, you are giving bad information about COVID. You are letting other people think that it's okay to go down to Rexall or Bartels or Rite Aid or wherever the hell you want to go to you know, peruse the cosmetics aisle when you are positive for COVID because Foodie Beauty did it. So it's fine. Like, it's not fine. This is, this is terrible. And whether or not she really is positive or not, that's not even the point. The point is she's, she's on this uh, facade that she has COVID. So we need to act accordingly. (laughs) Like, if you say you have COVID, fine you want if that's the route you want to go but have covid that means you can't be going out and hanging out and buying waxing kits and fake eyelashes and and bags from the drugstore like that is not an essential thing and and by the way you can get this stuff delivered like you order food all the time do you not know that you can get your groceries delivered the cat food delivered do you not understand that like you can get your coffee delivered to you dude it's just i can't i can't it's exhausting so anyways i think that's all i can take so anyways i hope you all have a great night and i will see you in the next video I'm doing this screen record because my unplugged book box is like lost in the mail somewhere. It's lost in the world. I don't know where it is. Can we all just like take a moment and and say a little, have a little moment of silence for my, my box that is lost somewhere? It's not lost. It's just delayed, but I don't know where it is. So I just, I need, I need positive energy to bring my unplugged book box to me. I don't know where it is. I suspect it might be in Vegas gambling, but I mean, it just needs to get its act together and come home. Okay, you need to come home unplugged. People are waiting for you. (laughs) This is nonsense. You need to stop gambling and come to me. (laughs) All right, (laughs) everyone have a good night and take care. I keep saying my next video will be unplugged, but Unplugged apparently is in Vegas gambling or something. I don't know. Where are you? Where'd you go? I don't know. (laughs) Anyways, everyone have a great night. Bye.